What's going on everybody? Darren here. Um, I'm going to do a, a video, but it's going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to do vinyl today. I'm going to do some of my CDs that are what I've got thrown in the car or what I'm listening to down in my little catacomb here, my little pit, man cave, whatever you want to call it. Uh, just stuff that I've been listening to that I really dig and I'm going to share with you guys to see what you guys think. Um, first one. I can't tell you how much this is. This is friggin' this awesome disc. Awesome I wish they put out another one. I haven't seen or anything from this band in a long time, but they're called Forceps. And um, uh, complete and utter death metal. If you're into death metal, I suggest this band, Forceps. Um, you can see the cover, that's really cool. I really dig the cover. Uh, CD, just, Humanicide is just a great, great record if you're into, if you're into death metal, I'm telling you right now. Just, uh, it's only got five songs on it though, which is kind of disappointing, because there's, and it's so heavy, fast, guttural vocals, just everything, it's just a great record. Okay, up next, new Imani Marth. I love this band. I have for many years now. I've got, I don't know if you can see, right about there. I have the new one on vinyl. I have about four or five on vinyl. The rest on disc. I don't know. I, there's just Viking metal. I just think it's awesome. The, the I should have pulled the vinyl out too. I'll show the vinyl at a later date. Um... I just love the artwork. It's kind of it reminds me of Hammerfall, Iron Maiden. Just the way the artwork is set up, the cartoon drawing kind of thing. Um, just the warrior kind of deal. Um, well, Hammerfall or um, Man of War. They had covers like this. Um, Frank Fazetta, Boris kind of style of of, um, of fantasy drawings and stuff like that. Just awesome stuff. This one's got uh, 10 songs, 10 tracks on it. Um, I mean, if you're into Aim on Amarth, this is it. It's a brand new album, Jom's Kill, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, no, Jom's Viking, sorry. Duh. Highly recommend it. Now this one, holy cow. If you're into brutal, slamming death metal, this band is right in there, it's awesome. They're called Broken Flesh. Um, I threw this album on, and I I think this this one, and the new Cattle Decapitation, which I I think is in my van. Uh, I wanted to talk about that one today too, but I, it's in, I think it's in the van, and my wife took it over the river. Uh, I don't think between this one and the Cattle Decap, I think I listened to them for two weeks straight. They're the <laughs> These two releases are just absolutely amazing. This one, brutal, brutal death metal. If you're into that style, slamming death metal, grinding fast guitars, fast drums, like guttural vocals, I highly recommend this. Um, I have yet to get their first one, uh, but I will, because this one just freaking slays. It's awesome. Next one I just got um, two days ago. And that is a Dutch band. Uh, they're a black metal band. And I'm not really into black metal. I don't like the whole Satan shtick. Uh, gets on my nerves real fast, real old. I'm just tired of it. Uh, and I'm tired of the whole metal cliche about it being, has to be satanic and all this kind of BS. It's garbage. Uh, but I like this band because they're ghost stories. And about World War, whatever, two, one, just whatever. Their war ghost stories and just awesome. And they're called, if I can pronounce it correctly, Karak Ungren. Um, and this one is called Where the Corpses Sink Forever. It's a concept record. Um, awesome. It has everything on here. Just slow, lightning fast. The vocals are right up there with all the black metal elite. And um, yeah, I highly recommend this band if you're if you want to if you want if you like black metal but you don't like all that satanic garbage, 
right here. These guys are really good, I find. And I don't, I, and they might have a hidden meaning in mind. I don't find any satanic crap in here, which is good. Um, anyways, great record. Uh, now, next one. If you're into vomitory, then you'll like this band. Cut up. Swedish death metal at its best. I've probably listened. I probably I got this this one in the the crack probably about three days ago, four days ago, and I bet you I've listened to this thing fifty times. Ugh, this thing friggin' smokes. I just love this. I mean, the lyrics are, are gore, like the Cannibal Corpse, guilty pleasures, right? Um, but these guys are just oh man, these guys are really good. Tight, just that grinding Swedish death metal sound. Um, fast. Just if it double, lots of double bass, lots of that grinding guitar. If you're into that Swedish death metal sound, cut up. Uh, and if you're into this band, I highly suggest you try because two of the guys, the bass player and vocalist and drummer, were from Vomitory. And I love Vomitory. They're such a cool band. So I highly recommend that one there. The next one up is kind of, I don't know if you'd call it metalcore or deathcore or whatever. I don't imagine Deathcore, I think. I really didn't get into them until I saw them with Machine Head a couple years ago, with the original vocalist. Um, but the lyrics, again, kind of didn't really do anything for me, so I just didn't bother with them. But they got a new vocalist, and the lyrics seem to be a little bit different. Suicide Silence. Um, I thought I'd give this one a whirl. Um, you can't stop me. It's typical Suicide Silence. I mean, screaming, screaming freaking vocals. Uh, fat, like grinding, a lot of downbeats or down, whatever they call that. Down tuning, uh, like when they, whatever. You'll you, listen to the record and you'll understand what I'm talking about. Um, like a mosh kind of um, style of passages and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Um, nothing over the top, uh, but nonetheless, if you're into something, want something, something, something different, give this a whirl. This is really good. Um, next one up, brand new Symphony X Underworld. I bought this, I don't know, a couple weeks ago at Walmart, I believe. And, um, this is an awesome record. If you're into that, uh, power, symphony power metal kind of thing. I highly recommend it. Heavy guitar, lots of soaring vocals, great passages, um, hooky, catchy riffs, catchy parts. Just it's a really, really good album. Uh, next one up. Uh, now this one is all over the map for me. Uh, the new uh, this is Annihilator, a Suicide Society. I think I can't remember if this one is the new one or. The Beast one, I can't remember it. I have that one on vinyl. Um, yeah, this one's got some really good tunes on it, and then it's got some stuff on it that's kind of, it's kind of to me, it seems a little out of place. Um, they would be good if they were on a different album, kind of together, and then the other stuff would be on. Because you got like the first song is completely to me is completely different than the next song, and they kind of don't fit together. I mean, other people who are total Annihilator fans will probably argue the point, which is fine. It's cool. Um, it's a great album. Uh, it's just all over the map for me. Um, the artwork's really cool. I like the artwork. Booklet with the lyrics. Um, yeah, Annihilator. If you're... I like the early, early, early Annihilator, like Alice in Hell. I like that. That's a great album. Uh, like I said in a couple of videos before, I'm just starting to kind of get back into uh, Annihilator and I'm kind of buying up what I see, just throwing it on just to kind of give it a whirl. And I really need to sit down and kind of give them a good spin and, um, you know, just give it a really honest, honest uh, spin and try. Uh, up next, this has been out for a while. I want to pick it up, but it's a three LP volume set, and every time I see it, it's like sixty bucks. Um, 
And I, in the, in the grand scheme of things, when I order a couple of records from the states, and they come up, and I'm paying eighty-five dollars for three records, Canadian. I guess it's all relevant. Three records, you know, sixty bucks Canadian, whatever. Um, this was a surprise because the last couple I didn't really like from this band. Um, they're, to me, their best stuff is all their early stuff. I'm going to get guys that are going to argue the point, which is cool. You have your opinion. I got mine. Um, the first six, seven albums, eight albums, I think. Um, those were the better ones. But the new Iron Maiden uh, is really good. Um, it's a long album. Uh, this one, double album. Artwork. I'm not a real big fan of the new Eddie look. I kind of... I don't really care for it. I mean, I like it, but it's not my favorite as as Iron Maiden and some of the other things that Derek Riggs has drawn in the past. Um, but nonetheless, it's a cool album if you like Iron Maiden. It's good for your collection. If And, and you throw it on. Like, I throw it on. I, I listen to it for about a week straight. And then I'm like, okay, I'm out of my Iron Maiden phase again. And then I just started listening to it, um, I don't know, about a week ago. Then I threw it in the van and... Uh, you know, I go to soccer practice with the girls. I sit and watch, and then I have the, this going, and I get a better feel for it, and uh, can really kind of sit there and listen to it. Uh, this one I had for a long time. I ordered it right from the band, and uh, I love this band, and it's it Give Zombies the Vote. This is a great, great record. Clean singing, the metalcore style singing, all sorts of heavy riffs, fast, medium paced, excellent musicianship. I just love this band. I highly recommend this band. If you come across this record, I tell you to pick it up. You will absolutely love it. If you're into thrash, you'll love it. If you're into deathcore, you'll love it. If you're into power metal and with thrash, you'll love it. Um, it's it's a great record. I just, I just love it's got everything everything I think, um, yeah. Give zombies the vote. Um, Dominions came with a sticker. I got the sticker over there. Booklet lyric booklet. Yeah, I, excellent record. The last one I'm gonna throw up here is um, Jungle Rot. <laughs> this band is so cool. I just like this band. Just thrashy death metal. Um, this is my third from them. I don't have this one on vinyl. I have the last two on vinyl. They have a bunch more albums that I want to get. Um, but yeah, great death metal record. I can't, uh, can't say enough about it. Like, you throw it on, it makes you want to just, it's a, just, it's a great record. These guys would be really good to see live, I think. Um, you can, it's one of these bands that when you throw it on, you can, like, death metal, like, you can't understand the lyrics very well. I mean, let's be honest. But with this band, you give it a pretty good attempt. That you kind of know what he's singing as he's uh, chugging through a, a three-and-a-half-minute song. Um, they're not low, guttural, deep growls. They're just, like, kind of like a barking death metal style. Um, but, yeah, I highly recommend this band. Excellent band. Excellent album. Um... Yeah, nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Like in terms of, like, they're they're not reinventing the wheel. They're just throwing what they do best up on there, and they're throwing it on record, and uh, it's really cool. So, anyways, those are my I don't know ten, eleven that are I've been throwing around in the room the last little while in the CD player and listening to them. Um, I'm going to throw a bunch more up. As soon as I find my cattle decap, I'm going to throw it up there because I really love that record. I highly recommend that record. That one and the uh, Broken Flesh, just stellar records. Um, yeah, take care, and I'll see you next video. Bye.